So we're getting towards the end of our word of the weeks on uh, take torch parts. Uh, we started from the front, we ended up in the back, so we're here at back cap. Uh, a lot of people call it end cap. Uh, it's not ridiculous if you're calling it end cap. Uh, people are going to know what you're talking about, but the correct term is back cap. So we're going over back cap here. Now there's two uh, extremes here, a long one and a short one, and then there's, there's some that are in between. And at the end here, what I'll do is I'll zoom in on uh, these two and one that's in between to get a close-up of it. But for right now, uh, let's go over the, some advantages and disadvantages of these because there's um, advantages and disadvantages to both of these. I kind of wrote the uh, advantages down here. So the long one, uh, no break. What does that mean? You don't have to break the tungsten. Uh, an entire length of tungsten will fit in this torch, so you don't have to break it. It also makes it easier to sharpen because you're not you know, close to the grinder with your, with your fingers as if you were going to use this little tiny one here. Um, a better grip, I got that for both of them actually. Uh, if you're walking the cup or something, you can grip it, you know, wrap your finger, your pinky finger around it and get it um, bottomed out on the bottom of your hand and, and walk the cup. You can wrap it around like this. Uh, so you have a better grip. It gives you something to grip to. Uh, the main disadvantage of this, of course, is it's huge and long and it doesn't fit into, into tight spots. That's why you have this one. So that's where we're going to get right here. It fits in a small place. That's why one of the main reasons they, they use these, because it's got to fit in between, you know, whatever part you're welding. So uh, this is big and this is small, so this fits better. It also has a better grip. You can grab this thing, just like the other one, and you can get right on top of it like this, and the end cap's not there to prevent you uh, from having a good grip on the top like this. But this also has a good grip because you can do this. So I guess it's all in the welder preference, right? So functions. The end cap, main function, tightens the tungsten. So you're gonna put the tungsten in there and tighten the end cap. And when you tighten the end cap down, it pushes the collet into the collet body and then pinches the tungsten. Its main function is to tighten down on the tungsten. Uh, holds the tungsten, what I mean by holds the tungsten is um, the long one here, the excess tungsten just is contained within this. So that's a function, right? Uh, and then it aids gas flow. And what I mean by that is if you take your, your back cap off, if I can get it here, right where the threads are, you're going to see an O-ring right around that. When you tighten that down, that O-ring seals and forces the gas flow out to the front of the torch. So it aids in gas flow. That's not one of its main functions, but it does do that. So um, it is a function anyways. So tightens tungsten, holds access tungsten, aids in gas flow, cost 513. Uh, the, the cost always depends on the brand. Some brands are, are more expensive than others. I just looked at the, the bottom brand of a, of a Google search. So, uh, problems, uh, tighten second. In other words, we've gone over this with the cow, the cow body. If you tighten the end cap first, the tongue, it won't pinch the tungsten because it's not close enough in the middle to squeeze that cow into the cow body. So you want to tighten it second. Um, so you tighten your cow body, you tighten your end cap last. Break, uh, they're easy to break. If you drop it, it's, it's kind of hard plastic, so it's kind of brittle. So when you drop it, it will break. So it can break, that can be a problem. And then you can have a bad O-ring. So if that O-ring is shot, the gas will leak out around in here, and you won't get as good as gas coverage, or you'll have to turn it up, then you're wasting money because you know gas costs money. So you want to make sure you got a good O-ring in there. And then too big, I wrote something like this. If this is all you have, it's too big to fit into the places, you're going to have to go buy, you know, this one right here to get into a smaller place. So that's what the back cap is, a brief description anyways. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at the, these two up close and then the, um, the one that goes in between and they, they have different sizes depending on what you're trying to do. So maybe you like that grip on that one uh, and if you use half of that, you can still fit into whatever you're welding so you get a half size one. So what we'll do is we'll uh, take a look at the three that I have and then we'll, uh, we'll show you how to put it into the torch, which is no big deal. So for now, let's go look at the three I got. This is a look at, um, well, I guess four different uh, back caps. Um, the one on the top, you can see the tungsten coming out with the collet in it. The one in the far left, that's the short one and there's a medium sized back cap in the middle and then another long one over on the right. The one on the top and the one on the left are both water cooled and then the one on the right is an air cooled. That's the only difference. Uh, the length of the cap is the same but they just, they're just different style torches. So let me see if I can uh, zoom in here and get close so you can see the, um, 
the o-ring at least there you go on those two and you can see that o-ring once it's uh, pinched down that's what keeps the gas flowing forwards so what we'll do now is we'll uh, show you how to thread one into a torch it's pretty easy but if you've never seen it you've never seen it so let's do it this is a water-cooled torch setup and it's all pulled apart right now the first thing you're going to want to do is tighten this collet body up which I've already done uh, then your um, gas nozzle goes on there not the little pink thing then your your back cap goes on you get your tungsten wherever you want it as far as um, stick out of the front which we don't care about this because we're not actually welding with it and then you just thread this on and the way you know if it's uh, tight or not, if this moves, it's not tight. You got it snugged up there. As long as that's not moving, you know it's tight. So that's how you put the uh, back cap on. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll go over what the torches are next week. Uh, so thanks for watching, subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next week. We're out of here. <laughs>